Hello, I'm Doug, and welcome to the Crew of Japan podcast, a weekly podcast where we take you on audio journeys through Japanese culture. This time on Crew of Japan podcast. Welcome back to our podcast. Back in season three, we'd explored a little bit of Tokusatsu history when Matt Alt joined the crew as guest host for an awesome conversation with Gene and Ted Pelk about Japanese live action Spider Man, Tokusatsu in the 70s, Marvel's involvement in Japanese pop culture, and many other topics. That was back in episode 13 of season three. Go check it out if you haven't listened to it already. But today, we are revisiting Tokusatsu, but this time with more of a focus on Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. First, we lead off with a short chat with Chris Gooden, a friend from university who happens to be an avid listener of the podcast. Chris shares his thoughts on what he thinks makes Tokusatsu and Super Sentai so special. And then we get to sit down with an actual former Super Sentai himself, Sotaro Yasuda. Sotaro played the character of Ken Hisatsu, aka Geki Chopper, in the 31st season of Super Sentai series Juken Sentai Geki Ranger. He also played one of the villains in Kamen Rider Ghost. In a conversation with Sotaro that took place back in January, Sotaro shared some insight into his career in Tokusatsu, including what it was like to act as a Super Sentai on one of these shows. Geki Ranger is like more、uh, action than the other、uh, Sentai. So we had to fight on our own before the transformation. What it was like to do his own stunts? They were so professional, so they never hit us. But I hit someone in an accident once. How he stays engaged in the Tokusatsu world.、Um, the Tokusatsu fans were like、uh, very excited and they wanted me to do more of those videos with the j e t t y Ranger members. And so much more. This episode is a really fun one that explores the worlds of Super Sentai and Kamen Rider, not only from a fan perspective, but from the perspective of a Super Sentai actor himself. But first, let's jump into my chat with Chris Gooden. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Welcome to the Crew of Japan podcast. Hey, thank you for having me, Doug. It's good to be here. Glad you could be here. I'm glad you could be here because you are way more knowledgeable about this stuff than I am. I am, <laughs> I know a bit, but you know, I bow to you like in like Wayne's World. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to see if I can hold up those lofty goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> so,、um, I guess really what I wanted to do is chit chatting with you today. Is to get an idea of when you became a Tokusatsu fan and what got you into it. So、mm-hmm. let's just start with that. Like, when, when did you really become a fan of Tokusatsu? And when I say Tokusatsu, I don't mean just necessarily Super Sentai and Kamen Rider, but anything, like anything Tokusatsu, like Kaiju and whatever. Um, It would probably have to be just when Power Rangers started. That's probably when I really started like, really getting into it. I've always heard about Godzilla, and I think I even heard about Kamen Rider when I was a kid before it actually came over here and that, that iteration we got <laughs> the first time. I'm about、around. to say, like the crossover, the crossover from Power Rangers and Kamen Rider, right? Master Rider? Yeah. 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 I, that's, that's where I remember it from, <laughs> you know, those two. Yeah. Because for me, I don't think really it was like Power Rangers for the most part and then Godzilla. Yeah. And I think that's probably it, you know? It's always weird. I never actually gotten to Godzilla. That was always like. Really? Mm mm. It's, it's like I knew of it, but to actually watch it, I always just thought I was going to be like, oh, there's some dude just in a suit just mashing things. And it's like, but then here comes Power Rangers doing the same thing. Right. Like, Power Rangers the same damn thing. With flip, <laughs> or flips, and, flips and stuff. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, Godzilla, I, I knew what Godzilla was. I probably, I like Godzilla for like the. I guess probably for like the destruction of like city scenes, like when he's fighting monsters and stuff, but didn't, you know, the story. And, you know, as a kid, when you're watching it, you're not really interested in all the, the I guess, the, the background and the story and all that stuff's going on. All you care about is the monsters fighting, right?、Uh, you don't want to hear about the military people that are like, hey, we got to stop Godzilla. Or should we stop Godzilla? Maybe. <laughs> no, no I'm, I'm like six years old. I don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I was I was kind of I was I was a weird kid when I was when I was younger. I used to watch like the most、uh, well, not adult, but <laughs> but things I should not have been watching for a six year old. Like, Fair enough. Like Melrose Place. Ah,、uh, uh, <laughs> that's about as far from Tokusatsu as you can get, I guess. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned Power Rangers.、Mm-hmm. That was probably your gateway. Yes.、Um, at what point did you realize that Power Rangers came from Super Sentai? 
Oh, I, I remember the exact moment too. Me and mom were going to Toys R Us out here in Louisiana, in New Orleans. And I remember, I think they were on season two. So the, the first Lord Zed season. And I go to the, like the little stickers they have in the front of the store. And I see the alien Rangers or um, uh, Kaku Ranger in, in Japanese. And I was like, yeah. what is this? What is this suit? And I was like, oh, wow. I need to, wh- are we getting that? Are they getting these new suits? And then we got Alien Rangers for like five for five episodes. But that's the first time I was like, whoa, what is this? And then I realized, hey, we get stuff two years after the Japanese stuff shows. Well, two, three years. Well, I, I completely forgot about the Alien Rangers. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. I, so I, I forget when, but my son and I would watch... Like on Netflix, they have like the first two seasons, I think. Yeah, like- a bunch of episodes, but they all start to blend in together because <laughs> <laughs> there's so many of them, and it's basically the same thing over and over and over and over and over with a lot of different awesome monsters and characters and costumes. But still, it all kind of blends in, especially when you're watching it like back to back to back to back. Yeah, binging Sentai or Power Rangers, <laughs> it's, it can be a, sometimes it can be a slog because sometimes you just like, I yeah. like the story is like five episodes away from where you're at and here comes a slice of life about getting baked into a pizza or something like that <laughs> right exactly exactly <laughs> so so that was when you realized that it was not you know something that was made in the u.s it was coming from another country yeah out the, out, you know uh, completely across the world yeah and after after that I was like always especially once the internet became more prevalent and everything i remember in yeah. college i was looking at i think we were on Lightspeed Rescue, which is the one of the post post Zordon before Disney bought its seasons, sure. and I remember like being at college, being like, "Oh God, what's 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 going on in Japan right now?" And I see it's the Hurricane season or Ninja Storm here in America, and I'm like, uh. "Oh man, these also these suits look awesome!" And I used to put the used to put like the main like graphic of the show on the computer at work and my manager would be like wait chris why did you put this on here <laughs> please stop putting this mess with this power ranger mess on here. i'm like it's not power rangers it's it's sentai we're getting in two years <laughs> it's do it's different it's i swear it's different oh, yeah. <laughs> so so what do you find or maybe let's take a step back mm-hmm. so how would you best describe super sentai if someone like your manager had no idea I mean, everything, I guess they see it and they see Power Rangers, right? But mm-hmm. how would you explain or describe Super Sentai? Okay. Um, now, first of all, I wouldn't shy away from what it is. It, it's for it's a kid show. It's for children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be yeah. like, it's a, it's a kid show. And then I'll explain. They're like, why are you watching kid stuff? I'm like, well, it's more than just that. It's it's action. It's drama. It's, it's character development, which I love in a TV show. I love seeing like a character mm-hmm. go from... Hey, look how they used to act to, and now they're all like the way they are now. Best example of that would be um, in Sentai. They have the the handoffs between every seasons. Yeah. So I remember when uh, it was the handoff between Boken Ranger, which we called Operation Overdrive over here, mm-hmm. and Geki Ranger, which was Jungle Fury. And I remember the Red Ranger. It was a two Ranger Rangers meeting, and the one from Geki Ranger was just kind of like solemn and like bow to the other Ranger. I'm like, that's not even how the character is, because <laughs> yeah, because Red Ranger he is a jungle boy, he is straight up yeah. just Tarzan, and so they find when the season ended and they, he handed off to the next season, he's just like waving and jumping and going all crazy totally and stuff, different. and I'm like, that's the Red Ranger I remember from this season. So, <laughs> <laughs> so is that what's most pe- appealing about Super Sentai to you? Is the character development and the storylines that kind of push these characters through like growth arcs and things like that throughout the seasons? Yeah, because if they didn't have stories or if they didn't have quality stories, they get very boring. They can be very boring at times. Yeah, at least they write for the kids like they're not stupid. And that's what I always appreciate as, right. as a kid growing up that, hey, I know I'm a child, but I still like quality stories. And for sure, and for sure, the better seasons of Power Rangers did that, like uh, like SPD and and uh, uh, what's the uh, let's say Megaforce, not Mega, not Megaforce, Jesus Christ, no, <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a whole mess. But um, Time Force and a bunch of other ones, even though it was still a kid show, they still were like, hey, a kid can understand about racism, they can understand about bigotry, they can understand about like. Hey, you might not feel like you're the smartest person, but you can still not consider yourself dumb. 
Right. That was in Samurai. And I was like, that's a different message to give the kids, but it's a good one. So, like, hey, you may not understand everything, but it doesn't mean that you're dumb. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They, it's, it's still like they respect, they, they understand their kids, but they still want them to learn that how things can be, how things will be one day when they're adults, not, not cover them up and shy them away from the truths of the world for the most part. Sure. But yeah. So I appreciate that. And that's pretty much what Sentai is. It's just that it's drama, action, character development, and a good moral lesson in most cases. Yeah. Yeah. You spot on. You spot on for sure. So I know you're also a fan of Common Writer. Yes. Uh, we talked about it a little bit earlier. You know, as a fan of both, what do you feel is the biggest difference between the two? Like in terms of like, are they like more mature for like Common Writer versus Sentai? Or is it like kind of the same overall feel? Um, I would say it's it's definitely more more mature. Is that something that evolved over time or has it always been? I think it's kind of been always that. I know definitely when they came back and because it was gone for a long time in the 90s like it was they used to have like just movies yeah. kind of like kind of like how doctor who was gone for a long time and then came back sure when they started out in the 2000s again they were like we this is not just sentai we're not just trying to sell you toys here's a whole story about monsters and other stuff going on and the police were trying to figure out how to stop these things the second season uh agito was about essentially you fight god <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's essentially yeah. Fight, they fought god at some point so wow <laughs> but I mean, nowadays it's it's getting a little more sentai. Sentai, yeah. They're trying to sell toys. There's like ten writers per season almost nowadays. I was about to say, like some of the some of the newer seasons, I feel like there's like a, a team of them. It's not as many. It's not like one like back in the beginning, or even one or two. You know, it's like a team. Yeah, and and I think COVID didn't help either. So sure, because now they're <laughs> we can say that about a lot of things. With COVID, but... <laughs> well, now now they're trying to now they're trying to figure out like how to um like adjust for how to make it so they don't have, to have so many people on stage with them, and sure. it took them a little bit of time to really figure that out, and then. Um, but yeah, and now they're trying to re- really get it right. And that's how they, and I think they're trying to do that now with, um, I think the current one's Gates. I haven't really watched too much of it yet. Um, and definitely King Oger over in Sentai. Sen- that's a whole different take on Sentai that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, it looks a little different. Yeah. It looks a little different. looks a little different. It feels a little different. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's way more stylish. It's episodic yeah. from what I've seen so far. And I was like, oh, that's sure. different. <laughs> <laughs> Because the last Sentai is kind of like, here's one episode, Monster of the Week, go fight. Maybe we put, pepper in a little bit of uh, storyline eventually. But no, the King Oger is very, hey, stuff happened this first episode. If you want to know what happens in episode six, you better watch one through five. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's something I noticed when my kid got into Super Sentai and I kind of got sucked back into the world of, you know, oh, this is like Japanese Power Rangers. Let me watch it. And then I was like, oh, man feeling a kid all over again <laughs> i remember we you can just drop into i think ryu soldier is where he started you could just drop into pretty much anywhere along the way oh, yeah. and you wouldn't really miss a step too much i mean i guess it depends like they're introducing a new robot or whatever throughout the episodes and stuff but you know for the most part you know you can kind of just fall in and and you know just like you said monster of the week robot of the week um you know combination of robots of, of the week you know <laughs> like however they want to do it yeah, they were really trying to sell toys that season because they had so many. Ad- Those are some cool toys, though. I get a lot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> My son Santa treated them good. So, <laughs> but yeah. So before we wrap everything mm-hmm. up, I wanted to ask you one more question. This is probably like the most obvious question that I was gonna ask. Mm-hmm. But what are your favorites, like Sentai? Like, what is your favorite Sentai series? Or maybe you don't have to give me just one. You can give me a few. Let's see. Um, I definitely love Go Kiger. That was probably the best anniversary. I feel like it's everyone's top <laughs> three, probably. Yeah, it was like it's just the it's a really good anniversary season. There's so many, and it highlighted so many like of the pre before Power Ranger seasons that we never got here. And I was like, I, I really want to watch some of these now. Like, I still want to watch Live Man. That's the one where it's like, hey, we got some, we're some school kids and our buddies like totally murdered some people, <laughs> so we got to stop them now. Oh, jeez. Let's see. There's so Go Kiger. Go Buster had its moments. Q Ranger was the space one, which I think that's mm-hmm. what the new season of Power Rangers is going to be based off of a little bit, or at least the, Roughly. the toy. <laughs> I think just the toys probably, but yeah. Uh, Lupin Ranger versus Pat Pat Ranger or Pato Ranger. That was a great show. I'm still mad we haven't gotten there. I haven't seen yet. that one. I would love to. I would yeah. love to see that just because I think the kids will go wild just seeing like 
oh look it's cops versus robbers and they and they just transform and it's kind of like persona a little bit <laughs> yeah but i would say probably my my favorite at least it's if it's not my favorite it's like way up there um it's also my first which was geki ranger okay i was watching with, with a friend and i forgot when we started watching we just were like hey let's just watch geki ranger <laughs> And we just started watching from the very beginning, and that's where we got hooked. Uh, then we went back in time, watched uh, Magic Ranger, and, and after that, just went full full forward. Yeah, you just trucked along through. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, for the most part, I've seen almost. If I haven't, I think I've seen almost every season since since Gucky Ranger, except for I think I missed like. There's like a couple seasons I miss, like hit and miss. Where I'm like, eh, sure. like I usually I usually wait until the Six Ranger shows up, and I'm like, if I can, if I like the Six Ranger, I'll probably keep going to the end. But <laughs> there have been some times I'm like, <laughs> there's been some shows I'm like, I cannot like um, the Ninja. I I tried so hard with that, one, but it was so wet. My my son loved my son loved that one. He he really liked it. I I, I just couldn't. Even the American version was so was so. <laughs> But it, it would have probably be Gecky Ranger. Just the also a catchy opening always gets me. And that's oh, yeah. the thing that's the one thing I always love about Sentai, no matter what season I'm like, as a good opening, I'll probably stick with it to the end almost. Uh-huh. The ninja almost got me with that too, because it has a really good song. It has, it has oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're pretty catchy. It has a really good opening, really good ending. Um, but Gecky Ranger is just the first one. And then spoilers if anyone wants to know about a show that's probably about how like 15 years old now <laughs> the last episode has a special opening just for that last episode and i okay. was like ah! when, it, when everything when they show what ha- would have happened and i can tell the little changes that happened to it, and i was like oh my god that is amazing <laughs> well you know it's funny that you say that your favorite was geki ranger mm-hmm. and that you usually stick around until you find out who the sixth ranger is but today's episode we're gonna about to segue into an interview that i had back in january mm. And um, it happens to be with that ranger from Geki Ranger, uh, the guy who played Geki Chopper, uh, Sotaro Yasuda. I was able to talk to him back in January about just his experiences in Tokusatsu and because he was in Geki Ranger and in Kamen Rider Ghost as well. Yes, yes he was. Yeah, so it was a really fun conversation. I, you had passed me a, a question and I asked him, <laughs> so you'll have to listen to the interview after this, after it airs. And uh, <laughs> and I think you'll like some of his answers towards the end too about the opening theme and stuff because I think he's about to do something with that. Uh-huh. So don't want to say anything, anything more spoilery for the interview, okay. but I think there's a few things that you'll enjoy from it. Okay, so let's just jump right into the interview. All right. Today we have a special guest, a former Super Sentai actor, Sotaro Yasuda. Hey, Sotaro, how you doing? Hi, how's it going? Good, good, good. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I know with the time difference and everything, it's morning time over there and it's in the evening over here. So, and it's always sometimes hard to work out those time differences. No, but it's, this, this is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so before we, we jump into like everything for the interview and, and the conversation for today's episode, usually we ask our guests a question that is standard. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been to New Orleans before or do you have a connection to New Orleans? If you haven't been, or if you don't have a connection, what's the first thing you think of when you hear New Orleans? All right, so actually, unfortunately, I've never been to New Orleans, and I have an image of um, it's a city of music. Yeah, that's, right, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. accurate for sure. Actually, in the states, the furthest east I went is uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. that's not too far. It's, yeah. I mean, it's it's far, but it's not. <laughs> it's closer to uh, it's cl- Louisiana. New Orleans is closer to Tennessee than it is California. So for me, that's not as far. I see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So um, you know, for all of our listeners who aren't aware, you mm-hmm. know, some may know you uh, from your roles in in various uh, Super Sentai shows or mm-hmm. Tokusatsu shows, which we'll talk on in a little bit. But um, for those who aren't aware, uh, you are you were born in the United States. I grew up in Cal- California, correct? Yep, yep, that's right. Yeah, where was it in California that you grew up? Uh, Newport Beach, Orange County. Oh, okay. All right. So, did you ever watch the show The OC? Um, actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I when I hear like Orange County or anything like that, I just think of that show. Yeah, so, I, I've never seen is... the show, but it's like some rich people and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so when did you move to Japan? 
Um, when I was 18, I wanted okay. to go to the university in Japan. I'm not going to say like I'm, I'm not going to sound like a stalker here, but when I was doing research and putting the questions together and, and wanted to be educated on things, I saw you went to Keio. Oh, and, yes, uh, Keio. They, I, I, I went, actually studied at Sofia University. Uh, oh, Jochi. really? Yeah, for one year. I, I did a study abroad year. Oh, in Japan? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's in great. In 2005, 2006. Mm, oh, so that's... We about... may have been in the Japan around the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I came <laughs> to Japan on... 2004 or 5, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right around the same time then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, there you go. Where, uh, what is it, Dose? Is that, is that do, how do you say, like, same year in school? Do, 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 Kyusei. Do, Kyusei. do Kyusei, that's it. Yeah, right. I'm a little rusty on some of my Japanese. So, do you speak, <laughs> do you speak Japanese a little? Not fluently. I, I speak enough. Oh, really? I, I lived in Japan for four years. One as a... Oh, four years? Yeah, one as a student, and then three years mm -hmm. I taught English in Fukushima. But yeah, oh. my wife's Japanese, so we go back and visit her family every, oh. uh, try to go every year or so, oh, up that, until the pandemic, and we had a little yeah. bit of a break. I see, I see. Yeah. So ha have you actually been back to the States often since you moved to Japan? Not so often. The okay. last time I went back is 2019. Oh, so right Three before years. the pandemic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Just right before, yeah. So when you moved over to Japan mm -hmm. from the U.S., Mm -hmm. Did you have any big like culture shock or th something that really like shook you? Like, oh my God, what's going on here uh, when you when you move over there? Well, actually, I was in Japan like every okay. summer for the summer vacation. But yeah. culture shock, the restroom in Japan, you know, the wash the water toilets. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. The ones in the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ones in the ground and the one with the washing machine on it. Oh, the, like the, the one that sprays? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was shocking. <laughs> I bet in more ways than one, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've definitely run into those. And I, I think that was, I, I never was brave enough for, I think, a couple years. I never tried it because I was just scared. Uh, that's scary, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is uh, uncharted territory for me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> of all the things, that was the thing that scared me the most about bathrooms <laughs> in Japan. Um, <laughs> So when when you come when you came back to the visit in the states, did mm -hmm. you get any kind of reverse culture shock coming back here? Well, everything is so large yeah. in the states, uh, the streets, food, everything. Yeah. Oh, and one thing in Japan, you can go everywhere with the train in Tokyo, but in the states we have to drive, you know? Yeah, yeah. Cars are like a necessity. Well, car, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. it, that was I think that was the one thing I loved the most about Japan being able to use public transportation yeah, 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 yeah. to go in everywhere bus, yeah, yeah. train subway whatever it was mm -hmm. yeah so you went to school in Japan you mm -hmm. went there for school yeah again not trying to sound like a stalker but it was on your Wikipedia page <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you, went, you went for economics correct yeah economics yeah it, so what made you change your mind into going into acting? Well, when I first came to Japan, um, before I went into the university, I met a person who was working at okay. Sony Music. And that person wanted me to be an actor. Oh. So that was the beginning. That was the beginning? Yeah, so I went to school and acted at the same time. Uh, okay, so you were doing kind of, you know, side acting gigs and things yeah, like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So what was your what was your favorite like small gig or small part? Do you remember one that really, uh, you know, what was your favorite one? I had a role in a TV show called Eli Yankee Saburo. Uh huh. It's based on a comic book. Okay. And I don't know how to say this word in English, but in Japanese it's called Yankee. Like like the the gangster kind of yeah gangster yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like high school student gangster. Yeah. It's like about troublemaker, right? Yeah yeah. Yeah. It's a comic about those people. Okay. And I was one of them. Nice. Was it but, fun? Yeah, it was <laughs> fun. It was a comedy. Okay, that's good. It was a comedy and my role had only one word to say. Oh, really? Yeah. It's oyo. Oyo? <laughs> yeah, oyo, it means like, all right, or yeah. So I had to say oyo every time people talk to me in uh -huh. any situation. <laughs> At least you didn't have to memorize lines, right? That was yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's only one line, one word. <laughs> you can't mess that one up. <laughs> yeah. And I had a blown hair. Oh, okay. I dyed my hair 
and it was it's like blonde, gold hair, and I had a beard. Uh, like full beard? Yeah, full. Uh, yeah, it's like a goatee, like right here. Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I went to the audition of uh, Sentai Geki Ranger mm -hmm. on that visual. Oh so, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I was like the only one with that hair and the beard at the audition place. So the directors were like shocked. <laughs> Well, sometimes with those with those uh, Super Sentai characters, I feel like some of them have like crazy looking hair anyway. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nowadays, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it fit right in, right? You're just yeah, yeah. What is it uh, method acting or, or getting into the character early? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they liked it, yeah. Yeah. So speaking of Geki Ranger and and being an actor on those shows, so uh, what's going to bring us to our main topic for today? Mm -hmm. you know, what was one of your most notable roles that you're known for, especially in Tokusatsu, is playing uh, Ken Hisatsu, uh, aka Geki Chopper, in the Tokusatsu mm -hmm. series Junken Sentai Geki Ranger. Yep. For those who are listening and may not know the term Tokusatsu itself, how would you best describe that word? Well, Tokusatsu, the word means like uh, super fantasy, yeah. SF. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, Tokusatsu is like a hero show. Hero TV show, like the Power Rangers and yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like Spider Man and Superman in the states. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So did you, when you were growing up, did you watch any like Japanese tokusatsu? Like when you visited in Japan in the summers? The only one tokusatsu I watched was um, B Fighter Kabuto. Oh, B Fighter Kabuto. I haven't heard it's, of that one. It's like a. Uh, um, it's not Sentai and it's not Kamen Rider, but it is Tokusatsu. They yeah. transform and fight. And in that B Fighter Kabuto, mm -hmm. my brother was playing a role in it. Oh, really? So he was a superhero too. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, both so, of you got to do uh, that's yeah, Tokusatsu. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's why, why I wanted to be a hero too. All right. Yeah. So again, we talked about when you were in Japan, but while you were in the States, they didn't have as much exposure to tokusatsu I, I think the only thing really is like godzilla and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Godzilla. godzilla and maybe you know power rangers which was mm -hmm. i think at the time because we're around the same age mm -hmm. power rangers when you were growing up at least i didn't realize that it was from japan like for oh, the most part really? like a lot of the scenes mm -hmm. were chopped directly from like the japanese show and oh. then they just put in like the american actors for like when they're not in the costume oh, i see i see i see yeah so i i know uh, growing up i had no idea until i was like way older Mm. Did you watch Power Rangers or anything like that? Actually, no, no. No? No. Okay. You, so you didn't really know much about Power Rangers and then you're like, I'm going to be a Sentai. Yeah, I That's only cool. know <laughs> Sentai. And the only one I watched was Speed Fighter, so... Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because we couldn't find a video. Oh, yeah. I think now you can watch it in the States too. With, yeah, uh, there, there are some options out there. You can, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. streaming or... Um, you know, YouTube even has stuff and, yeah, and other yeah, yeah. other ways, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other, ways. <laughs> other ways that I won't yeah. say. Um, mm -hmm. There's ways to you know watch those kind of shows. So yeah. Yeah, definitely, I think there's more exposure now too they do, they um, do. than there was before. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned you had gotten into acting because you knew someone at Sony mm -hmm. um, and they wanted you to be an actor. But yeah. how did you get introduced to Toei? And and you mentioned that you went into audition mm -hmm. with the bleach hair and the beard yeah, 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 and everything. Yeah. What made you want to go to Toei to audition for the role, or did someone kind of come to you? How, how, did, how did it go um, come apart? Actually, the Toei Tokusatsu series, we entry by ourselves, or the, oh, okay. the agency. Oh, uh, okay. Our agency entry us to the audition. I gotcha. Yeah. So they, they submitted you in and... Yeah, so they're gonna see the paperwork and the photographs, mm -hmm. and they choose from like I don't know, hundreds, yeah, thousand people. Probably a lot, yeah. huh? And so, so all it is is just a paper and like a resume and your picture and pretty yeah, yeah, much yeah, it? Yeah, 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 resume, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay, okay. That, that's, that's, that's crazy. So, so like it just kind of, that picture that they submitted you on, was it with mm -hmm. the blonde hair or was it no, with like No, it hair? wasn't. It was black <laughs> so hair. So they were probably surprised. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so for Geki Ranger, for the folks at home that are listening or maybe don't know what Geki Ranger is about, mm -hmm. um, it's mostly centered around martial arts and I think a, like an yeah. animal theme in martial arts. Like what else, I, I guess maybe I'll, I'll let you share a little bit about it since obviously you were, you were in the show. <laughs> but, uh, you know, could you share a little bit more about what Geki Ranger was? 
as you said, it's about martial arts and animal spirit, soul,、mm-hmm. animal soul. So we borrow the animal power and the martial art power to、mm-hmm. fight against the villains. And, gotcha. But the story is like, do you know Taiga drama in Japan? Taiga drama. Taiga drama is like,、uh, it's a TV show that goes on for like one year. Okay.、And、yeah. Every year it's a different story, but it's mainly about samurai. Oh, okay. Like Oda Nobunaga story, Shinsengumi yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, kinda, I kind of know what you're talking about, I think. Is, is it like just. Like you said, each season is its own story and they have. Yeah. Okay. It's like、yeah. so long and so huge theme in it. So,、mm-hmm. Geki Ranger was a little bit like that. Okay. In Japan, Tokusatsu's main target is small kids. Yeah. But our Geki Ranger story was a little bit difficult. It was about love and. I don't know how to say it, but. <laughs> it was a little bit a、uh, difficult story, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I wonder sometimes the folks who are making these shows, like the producers、mm-hmm. and stuff, I wonder they are making it for the children because obviously they have the toys and the robots that they want to sell. That's、mm-hmm. part of like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, there's yeah. the relationship between the show and then the toy company. Yeah. But I wonder how much they, they put like adult storylines in there, kind of、mm-hmm. fused in.、Mm-hmm. Maybe like because they may have been fans or maybe older fans that are now kids, like they were kids when Power Rangers or Sentai came out originally,、mm. but now they're older and they have their own kids.、Yeah. They may be kind of watching it too a little bit、yeah. and sharing, you know, sharing yeah, the experience. Yeah. So, yeah. so, we did a show,、um, actual, actual show ourselves on stage too. Oh, okay. Yeah, and most of the audience was the parents. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parents and、uh, young ladies, and some gentlemen who love Tokusatsu. Right, right. So it was basically adults. Oh, so was that the, like, the stuff they do now in, in Tokyo Dome? And, yeah, 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 yeah. Not Tokyo Dome City. Well, Tokyo Dome City. Tokyo、like、Dome City, Giroso. yeah. Giroso, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, it was, so you actually were in that. Yeah, you, you did Actually, sometimes appear. 15 years ago, the G. Russell wasn't there yet, so the、oh. stage was called the Sky Theater. Oh,、uh, okay. It was an、um, outside, outside stage. Oh,、uh, okay. All right, so it's changed a little bit then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. got better, so, yeah. I, I went to one with my son、mm-hmm. back in 20, I think it was 2019, right before the summer before、oh. the pandemic.、Um, that's when we kind of got into it a little bit.、Mm-hmm. And.、Um, We saw that they had a show. We were going to be in, around Tokyo that time. And、uh, we're like, yeah, well, let's go. And he, he loved it. But it was really cool. Like, as a, as a, as a fan of Power Rangers growing up,、mm-hmm. it was kind of it was crazy that I was watching it as an adult and seeing like, this kind of stuff. And turns out the seats that we got were like the last row of the bottom half of the, the, the stadium. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Theater. And there's like a, a large space, I guess. Because sometimes they had, like, I think the, the Sentai actually came down from the ceiling onto the ground right behind us. Oh, right behind you. Yeah, yeah. So we were,、uh, we were really, really, really shocked. That was, yeah, that's that was fun. Yeah,、cool. that's fun. Yeah. That's cool. Do you connect with a lot of the actors that, that are more modern now, or do you mostly stay in touch with the ones that you worked with closely back when you were on Geki Ranger? Yeah, mostly with Geki Ranger. Okay. And some Go Onger member. Okay, that's right. There was like a crossover, right? Yeah,、like、every year. Or we, something. Yeah, make a movie. Okay, okay. But it's like when I see someone who was from Sentai,、mm-hmm. it's very quick to get Nakayoku.、Uh, ah, right, right. You, you, you feel a connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You become yeah, yeah. friends quickly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the word, yeah. We get friends、you. so quickly,、you. yeah. Friends. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I mean, I, I kind of, that's, that's kind of the image I had in my mind. Like, everyone's, it's a different cast every year. And, yeah, and that yeah, cast yeah. is really close most of the time, right? But then, even if you're separated by, you know, 10 years from the current mm-hmm. cast, mm-hmm. then there's still that bond of that you're both, like, kind of this hero, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty cool. Exactly. It's、yeah. like a special fraternity or something like that. <laughs> that's it, yeah. So, back to Geki Ranger itself being about martial arts, did you have to do any, mar- did you ever do any martial arts growing up? I learned karate. Okay. 
from eight years old to、okay. 18 years old, so 10 years. Yeah. And Hisatsu Ken,、uh, his martial art was、uh, rhinoceros. But he was karate, right? Yeah, karate. Kind of... It was a mo- motif was karate. So, okay. That was a fit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good fit then, because you had that experience. You knew, yeah, about, yeah, you know,、yeah. you knew about it. And, and also, I guess California, did, did you ever watch Karate Kid growing up? The, the,、uh, the movie? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The... So, I, I, that, again, just martial arts in the 90s, I just think of like Karate Kid. Have you watched like Cobra Kai on Netflix? Cobra Kai? No, no. It's, it's a sequel. Okay, so here, you gotta check it out. It,、right. uh, if you like Karate Kid,、um, mm-hmm. you'll really like it because it brings all the old characters back, like the characters from the first movie,、mm-hmm. like、the good guys and the bad guys. And、oh. uh, yeah, I don't w a n t to spoil it for anyone that's listening who hasn't seen it, but <laughs> it's, it's basically kind of like Daniel and, and Johnny、mm-hmm. make their own students. And、mm. then, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's really funny though. What is、so, it? If you like、oh, Cobra? Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai, all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. So if you like Karate Kid, I think you would like that. So when, when、yeah. you were doing、uh, Geki Ranger, was training in martial arts like kind of part、yeah. of it? Did you have to have that as part of your background for your agency to submit you? I don't think that it was necessary, but、okay. I remember in Geki Ranger, used to learn martial arts. Oh, okay. So, kind of, so, they see, I'll knew a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Geki Ranger is like more、uh, action than the other、uh, Sentai. Yeah. So, we had to fight on our own before the transformation. That's very true, because like a lot of times you see like just the actors kind of like acting the parts, and then、yeah. they, you know, they transform. Into you know, whoever they are,、mm-hmm. and, then, and then they fight. And then I guess at that point, you know, and this is kind of our next, our next question was、mm-hmm. they had like the suit actors that would、oh, come yes, in yes, yes, yes. and perform like the stunts and、mm-hmm. the, the more like acrobatic fight scenes、mm-hmm. and things like that. So you had a chance to do some of your own stunts. Yeah, I think we had more chance than the other Sentai series. That's pretty fun though, huh? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> did, did you ever accidentally like hit somebody too hard or, or get hit too hard、uh, by somebody? Well, no, no, no. They were so professional, so、That's、they、good. never hit us. But That's good. That's good. I hit someone in an accident. No. <laughs> yeah.、Uh-oh. Once. Yeah. Have they forgiven you?、Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope. I don't know if that's your most memorable、uh, moment or story from the set, but do you have any other like, funny or, or memorable stories from when you were working on the set of Geki Ranger? I have a memory of the show. It's not the TV series, but it's, it's the show at the Sky Theater at、yeah. Giro So. We fight with the villains and、uh-huh. we have to like,、uh, lose once. We lose, and then the children of the audience、mm-hmm. give us a cheer. And we stand up and we transform and fight again. But the first losing time,、mm-hmm. um, there's a little bit of an explosion and we like go, wow! And we go on the ground. And I went too far. Uh oh. <laughs> and there's a stairs. And on the stairs, they have the,、um, how, I don't know how to say this. You know, Yasuri? Yasuri, Yasuri. Yesuri, it's a sandpaper, sandpaper. Oh, okay, yeah. They have a sandpaper, so we don't, we, we don't slip. Oh, okay, it makes it, makes it a little bit hard, like grip on your feet, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I landed on the sandpaper and I went down like five steps of the stair on my face. Uh, on so, the sandpaper, on your yeah, face? Yeah, 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 on、oh, face, on、man. my body. So I was, I was scratched so much and、okay. it hurt it so much, so I was like half crying. <laughs> Did, did, the, did the kids' cheers make you come back and get stronger and fight through it, or were you like, no, I'm hurting? <laughs> <laughs> But, and I went,、uh, I looked to the right, and there was a Geki Violet guy, and his name is Riki.、Uh-huh. Riki was watching me, and he was laughing so much. <laughs> oh. And we're both on the ground, so the audience can't see our faces. Yeah. So he was hiding from the audience and laughing at me. <laughs> That's my, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Th- yeah. Did you, when, from those live shows or from the show itself, were you able to keep any、mm-hmm. like costumes or props that you used or、oh. anything as like a souvenir from being on the show? 
Yeah, the the our uniforms. Oh, okay. We get to keep it. And my uniform was white. Yeah. So there was many spares. I think seven. Of them. So I got like three. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. And I exchanged one of them with、uh, Geki Violet's costume. So we have one of each. Nice. Did、yeah. Did you get a helmet as well? No. Well, no, no helmets. No, just no, the, no. Just the costume. Yeah, okay. just costume. <laughs> dang.、Um, yeah, dang. <laughs> So, in addition to Geki Ranger, you you've done、mm-hmm. Geki Ranger. That was your Sentai experience.、Mm-hmm. You again, you you did some crossovers with Goronja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I think did you do any other? I, I remember seeing like IMDb. Were、mm-hmm. you on other series? Like、oh, maybe、yes. a, I was on Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo.、Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As a guest. Okay. Were you, were you like a one-time episode guest or was yeah one-time episode one-time episode. Gotcha, gotcha. So, in, in addition to doing the Sentai stuff, though, you've、mm-hmm. also been a, a recurring actor on、mm-hmm. Common Rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it, it was Common Rider Ghost, correct? Common Rider Ghost, yeah. So, what was the experience like? What was the difference between like being in a Common Rider show versus being on a Super Sentai show? What was the feel of of the series? Was it a little bit more serious on Common Rider, and and、uh, Super Sentai was a little bit goofier, or、mm-hmm. was it about the same? It's about the same, but on Kamen Rider, I was the bad guy. So, oh, okay, yeah. So I had to fight with the Kamen Riders. Ah,、uh, gotcha. So it was a little bit different for you because、yeah. you got to do it from a a different perspective. Yeah, and on Kamen Rider Ghost, my role was、uh, from episode nine to episode fifteen. Oh, okay. So in episode fifteen, I get knocked out and explode,、mm-hmm. and I was supposed to rap. So you're supposed to be you're supposed to be finished.、That、yeah, finished.、It. Okay. On episode fifteen, because I died on no, episode fifteen. Yeah. But I didn't want to finish, so I asked the producers. Actually, I begged them that I don't want to die. <laughs> and they changed my, their mind, and、oh, really? they let me. Yeah, they、That's、let、cool. me be reborn. So when when you were reborn, was it the exact same character? Was he like changed or like a good guy then at that point? Or it was the same character.、Yeah. Same character. Okay. And I went to the writer again, and、mm-hmm. I fight with him and explode and die again. Oh, did you come back that time? Yeah. You came back again? Yeah, I picked him <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the story. Uh huh. I was in the Kamen Rider team. I I became a good guy. Oh, that's good. So it's、yeah. kind of a a nice like、uh, antihero. You're like the bad yeah, guy yeah, at yeah, first, yeah. but then eventually turn good. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And all because you begged the producer、yeah. to <laughs> keep you in the show, right? <laughs> Begging is so important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. So in addition to、um, you know、mm-hmm. Kamen Rider. Uh, obviously, that that's not going on right now. But what you have been doing over the last couple years, you you've launched your own YouTube channel. Oh yes, 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 yes. So channel, so channel, so channel. Yeah. And on there, you you've had、uh, at least from what I've seen, and also、mm-hmm. on your Instagram,、um, mm-hmm. you, you post a lot of videos with、uh, your friends and former Geki、mm-hmm. Ranger mm-hmm. Sentai colleagues, you, your alumni.、Mm-hmm. You know, can you tell us a little bit more about your channel and what you guys do on your channel, and how else do you keep connected to the world of Super Sentai? So when I started the channel, I didn't have any idea of what I'm gonna do. I was like planning to do some vlogs. Okay. But Mumpe、mm-hmm. came to me and he was like, "Let me help you." He was Geki Blue. Does, does he ha- did he have his own channel too at that point, or did he? He had his channel, but he had quit it. Okay. And he's my、um, best friend. And did you know him before、uh, Geki Ranger, or you became no, best friends? Met, yeah, we met、oh, Geki、cool. Ranger, and we became best friends. Nice. And he just wanted to help me to do my channel, so that's how we got to talk about the Geki Ranger.、Mm-hmm. And by doing that, talking about Geki Ranger with Mumpe,、mm-hmm. um, the Tokusatsu fans were like、uh, very excited, and they wanted me to do more of those videos with the Geki Ranger members. And the Geki Yellow Mina saw the video, and she wanted to be in the video too. <laughs> so we took a video, and then Go Onjer Red, his name is Yasu. Yasu, okay. Yeah, 
Yes, he suffered harm. The Gonja Red guy came to me and let's do a collaboration because he had a channel too. Oh, okay. So that's how the channel got more fans and I got to take the videos. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, and, and like you said, it, it got to, you got to do something with your friends too,、mm-hmm. which, you know, that's a big part of it. I know, I like this podcast we do, it was kind of out of fun. Like, we wanted to do something. It was during the pandemic, and we're like, let's、oh. make a podcast.、Uh, and so that's how、yeah. this started. So,、um, do, do you have any、uh, ways that you keep connected to like the Super Sentai world? Do they do any kind of like, In, in the US, we have a lot of like conventions and、mm. like things like that where fans can go and meet. Um, former actors for like Sentai series or something like、mm. that, or Power Rangers or movies or TV shows.、Mm. Do they have things like that where、uh, fans can kind of,、um, or you stay connected to the fans that way?、Um, before the pandemic, like 10 years ago, those former Tokusatsu members gathered and we had an event,、uh, talk show. We had a talk show and the Sentai fans came to the place and we talked and d r i n k together. d r i n k Oh, yeah,、so、that... actually,、um, we're, on the stage. <laughs> we're on the stage, but the place had some food and alcohol too. So, okay, the fans ordered a drink for us. Oh, so, so they get you drunk and then ask you questions or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was drunk because they <laughs> ordered a tequila. Oh man, only tequila for me. <laughs> Do they, so, they know at that point that you like tequila? Or do you like tequila? Is that your drink? Or?、Um, I used to love it. Okay. Not now. Not now? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't do the much. liquor much no, anymore. I do a little、no. bit of whiskey here and there, but yeah. <laughs> I can't drink no more. Not like I used to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One or two beers, and I, I mean, I. I I'm having a beer as we're just、oh, you do. fucking, but like, it's, it's not, you <laughs> know, I can't do more than one or two. Otherwise, in the morning, I'll feel a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too. That's cool though. I, I, and hopefully, I mean, I know with the pandemic and everything, especially, you know, Japan's starting to kind of get a little bit back yeah, to yeah, yeah. pre pandemic lifestyle. A、uh, little kind bit. Kind of, kind of, a little bit. Slowly. So maybe, maybe those kind of things, especially now that you and other people have been doing their own. Mm-hmm. Ways of connecting with fans, I think that might open up opportunities in the future, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to do a talk show on Soul Channel too. And invite other people and stuff and just have yeah, yeah, kind of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's so much fun. I, like this kind of stuff, like, yeah, we have questions that we want to talk about, but I, I like、mm-hmm. just kind of talking about whatever too. You know,、mm-hmm. we have the main topic, but then the other things. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's pretty fun. So, my next question for you. It's, it's related somewhat to Super Sentai,、um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be Super Sentai. It could be anything else. But、um, you know, what other acting roles or things would you like to get involved with in the future, whether it's Super Sentai or a different tokusatsu altogether? Or if,、um, if that came to you, would you do it? Yeah, I'll do any tokusatsu. Yeah? Yeah. And I was in the Sentai, I was in the Kamen Rider, so I want to do Ultraman.、Right, you got you to go beg. You see、yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you see、um, did you see Sheen Ultraman? No, I haven't. You haven't?、But、my friends are involved in, so I have to see. Yeah. Were they like the main characters?、Or? No, not, not the characters,、uh, the、uh, director side. Oh, okay. Cool. See,、uh, the st- stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. They had in the US, they just had a two day release, they had the English subtitles. With Japanese audio on Wednesday, which I went to see with my son.、Mm. And then yesterday, Thursday, they had,、um, they had like the dubbed like, English voice actors speak,、oh, doing the speaking、did. part.、Mm. Um, so, but it was only two days.、Uh, that was the only opportunity to be able to see it on like, the、mm-hmm. big screen. So it was, it was really, I, I liked it a lot. It, it was、mm. really fun. You know, I, I've, I've seen a little bit of the old Ultraman, like the original,、mm. like, or the like, original、yeah. Academy stuff.、Mm. And it, Definitely had that kind of vibe. Oh, they did? Yeah, I kind of felt like that, but it was modern, modern graphics and modern CG.、Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was, still had that old school、mm. vibe to it. It was really cool. That's great, yeah. So I, I did have a couple other listener questions for you. Oh. Yeah, some of our、uh, listeners, I, I mentioned that we'd be doing this,、mm-hmm. and、uh, they had a couple of questions. So, did you have, I know you didn't really watch Power Rangers too much, but、um, mm-hmm. outside of Geki Ranger,、mm-hmm. did you have a favorite season or series of Super Sentai that you liked that you've watched? Well, it goes back to the question before, but、um, it's, 
I watch B Fighter Kabuto. Right, right, right. So、uh, that's my favorite. That's your favorite all yeah. time. Okay. Yeah, all time. So I watched it so many times. Is it, is it out now on Blu ray or, or DVD so you can watch it now?、Uh, maybe on DVD. And in Japan, there's a site called Toei Tokusatsu Fan Club. It's like the subscribe streaming site. Oh, and they have it on there? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. And my other favorite is, you know, Don Brazas? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's,、uh, it's showing right now. Yeah, yeah. This is so good because、um, it's so different from the former Sendai's. Okay. When we went back, we were back in the summer, we went for a few weeks、mm-hmm. to Japan. And,、uh, and I know my son was watching it on TV when it came on.、Mm-hmm. And my, my sister in law had recorded some of the earlier episodes.、Oh, so he、I、had、see. like five of them or whatever to watch、mm-hmm. um, on her TV. And then he has some of the robots and the toys.、Mm-hmm. So he, 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 likes, he likes the robots. That's his favorite part. But、uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the costumes. Like the, it's like what, Momotaro, right? Yeah, like、Momotaro, the, Momotaro. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I wonder, did you ever talk to or meet the actor who played like the American version of Geki Chopper? No, I haven't. Well, I, I saw、uh, the Power Ranger. It's called Jungle Fury, right? Yeah, Jungle I, Fury. Yeah. I saw some part of it. Okay. Yeah. And I, I know who transformed to Geki Chopper too,、uh, but I never talked to him. Well, maybe the opportunity at some point, maybe you can get him, get him on your、uh, YouTube channel. Reach out to、yeah. him and say, hey, come on, Geki、great. Chopper versus Geki Chopper. That's great. That's great. <laughs> so, do you have anything else fun that you're planning on doing? I know you talked about a talk show.、Yeah. You know, do you have any other projects you're working on?、Uh, maybe you, do you have any、um, acting, like spots where you're going to be in a show or a movie coming up? Anything like that? Actually, I'm going to be in a movie, but it's, I think it'll be on the theater like two years from now. Oh,、so. it's a while away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And talking about my channel,、uh, Soul Channel,、yeah. I want to do, I want to sing. Sing? Yeah, sing the Geki Ranger theme. Okay. Yeah, and dance. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's, that's true. They have the dances for like yeah, the end theme, right? Yeah, the end theme, yeah. So I want to do every character by myself. <laughs> Are you going to put the character's costume on or something? Yeah, yeah, like... yeah. I'll put a wig on and <laughs> wear red shirt, yellow shirt. Yeah. Well, whenever、oh. you do that, you need to send it to me so I can, I'll、All、share、right. it for you.、Uh, I'll, I'll put it on social media for you. I'll share it、uh, to you. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing it. You know, where, actually, where can people find you on social media? Um, I have an Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Yeah. So,、uh, what I'll do is I'll put your links to your Instagram and I'll put links to your Twitter and YouTube. Everything,、oh. we'll make sure we put it in the show notes so that way folks can find you and find your content and, and your stuff. Thank you.、Uh, send, some, send some people your way to find more out about、uh, Geki Chopper and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Geki Ranger in general or just you. Uh, by the way, I love your dog. Your dog's cute as hell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Omochi. His name is Omochi. <laughs> yeah. Before we wrap up, do, do you have any messages to the Tokusatsu fans out there around the world? Anything that you want to say、uh, that may the ones that may be listening? I really want to thank them for watching Tokusatsu and loving it. And I love Tokusatsu myself. And it's great to talk with them, the Tokusatsu fans. So I. Oh, can I talk about my channel one more? Yeah, yeah, go for、yeah. it, man. The platform is yours. I found a Tokusatsu fan working in a suit store, clothes store, yeah. How do you say this?、So, like a clothing, like fashion store? Like our, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Aoki? Like that kind of suit、uh, store? Kind of, yeah. Similar? Yeah, similar, yeah. And that person used、uh, their item in the store to,、um, how do you say it? Coordinate. Ah,、uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Coordinate? They made a coordinate of Get the Chopper color. So, you kind of put like an outfit together? Yeah, so it was a white shirt with orange stitches and orange buttons with some black and white necktie. Ah, right. So, I found that on the Twitter and I wanted to see him and talk about the coordinate he made. So, I went to the store with Manpei Geki Blue. Yeah. But we didn't tell where we're going. Ah,、uh, as a surprise. Yeah, as a surprise. <laughs>、so、we went to the shop. And the、uh, shop manager knew that we were coming. Okay. But he made it a secret. And we went as a customer. 
That's awesome. Yeah. And we talked to the guy, and he didn't realize. <laughs> But in like one minute later, he recognized us, and he was so shocked. <laughs> and it's on my YouTube. I think is that like the the video. If you go to your channel, is that the video that starts right when when you get on there? At least I think that's the one. Maybe.、Um, oh yeah, yeah. I made a short movie of it. Oh, okay. And there's a long version too. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the yeah, short yeah, yeah. version of it. Okay. So I really love the idea of making a recording, and I really wanted to thank him. Because he loved Tokusatsu too. He loved Tokusatsu. He loved Sentai. So I wanted to say hi and thank him. I'm really thankful with the Tokusatsu fans. And social media is so cool about that. That's I mean, there's a lot of like crazy mean people out there on social media, but、yeah. there's there's a lot of it's really cool. That there's opportunities where like you saw something just maybe in passing or, or someone、mm-hmm. posted or shared it to you. And then you saw it, and you're like, "Wow, that's really neat!" And it's a really cool way for fans to kind of interact、mm-hmm. with like people that they're, you know, if they're interested in a show or a movie or an actor yeah, yeah, or yeah. actress, singer,、mm-hmm. you know, any anything.、Uh, it's so it's such a fun way. I mean, that's we've we've met a bunch of our guests through social media just by you know,、mm-hmm. you know that that kind of reaching out and saying hi. You know,、mm-hmm. <laughs> back to like here, like I, I just happened to see your email posted on your like Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Updated yeah. your email, and so I was like, "Well, let me let me try. Let me try to email him and see what's up." So, so. that's the great part of the S- SNS social media. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cool. I was so glad to see the email. Yeah, oh,、well, I'm 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 glad. And and earlier before we started the call,、uh, my son、mm-hmm. came up here, and the, the whole t- whole week he was like, "Are you talking to the Geki Ranger guy tonight?"、And、I'm yeah, like, yeah, "No, yeah, not yeah. tonight, not tonight." But、oh, you can come、okay. say hi when when、uh, when <laughs> whenever we start. So. That's great. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want to keep you too much longer, but thank you so much. I mean, this is—I know I—I I really enjoy talking about it. I like hearing people's stories. I like hearing about you know the behind the scenes and like these kind of things. Because growing up, I was you know as a kid, Power Rangers in the United States was like a huge thing.、Um, you know, back in the '90s. So. That was formative for me in that way. It's kind of like your first superhero that you see.、Mm-hmm. So that that's kind of been my connection to it, and I, I love you know I kind of reconnected to this Super Sentai through my son's interests. You know that was how I kind of like got back into it a little bit. So、uh, it's really cool, and then you know hearing these stories is really awesome. Well, thank you, thank you very much. It was so fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And again, you know, I'll, I'll share your stuff in our、yeah. show notes so our listeners can find out where they can check out your YouTube or check you out on Instagram and see your cute dog.、Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank、uh, you. Check you out on Twitter. You know, and then if you have any other things coming up, they can just follow you there. Yeah,、so. that's great. That's helpful. Yeah. I, I don't know if you want to sing us out on、uh, to the the Geki Ranger themes. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, but yeah, no, thank you again. It was so much fun. Yeah, thank you again. Thank you. And that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for tuning into the Crew of Japan podcast. First off, a quick thanks to Chris Gooden for joining me at the front end of our episode to talk through what Super Sentai is and what it means to him. And then a very special arigato gozaimasu to today's guest, Sotaru Yasuda. It was so much fun to discuss with him Tokusatsu, Super Sentai, Kamen Rider, his experiences as an actual Sentai himself, and how he stays in touch with the genre and fans after Geki Ranger. I loved hearing about his personal relationships with his fellow castmates, and how they still remain close friends to this very day. By the way, it didn't really click until editing this episode, but Sutaro's favorite tokusatsu, B Fighter Kabuto, was actually adapted into another Saban production called Beetleborgs Metallics, which was the second season of Big Bad Beetleborgs, and a favorite of mine growing up. I had no idea it came from B Fighter Kabuto, but I'm not surprised in the very least. If you'd like to find out more about what Sutaro has going on, Check out his YouTube channel, So Channel, or So Channel. I'll have it linked in the show notes, along with all of his other social media. Have you ever watched any seasons of Super Sentai or Power Rangers? Which was your favorite season? If not, are there any other Tokusatsu titles that you enjoyed while growing up, or maybe even today? Share with us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube at Crew of Japan Podcast. That's at K R E W E O F J A P A N. That's on Twitter. At K R E W E O F J P A N P O D C A S T. That's on Instagram and TikTok, Facebook and YouTube. Just search Crew of Japan Podcast. You'll find us. I promise. While you're there, 
Give us a follow, like, retweet, share, whatever floats your boat. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you guys. Or maybe you'd like to provide your feedback in a more private setting. Send us an email at crewofjapanpodcast at gmail.com. I'll spell that one more time. K-R-E-W-E-O-F-J-A-P-A-N-P-O-D-C-A-S-T at gmail.com. Speaking of feedback, if you're enjoying what you're listening to right now or this entire season, please feel free to leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast streaming app. Those ratings and reviews will really help others find our podcast. And any and all support is incredibly appreciated. But that's it for today. Until next time.